So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover another amazing lab that is get started with Luca challenge lab. So first of all click on start lab. Now if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel. Now click on task number one and open the looker studio incognito window. Now here you have to click on use it for free. Now just enter the username and password from the lab instruction. This is the username and password. Now click on I understand. Now here we have to create a look. So click on blank report. Now select your country as I am an Indian. So I love my country. So let's select India and just enter the company name. So just subscribe to the channel. Click on I agree and then click on continue. Now select yes to all and then click on continue again. Now click on blank report. So if you are unable to see this just zoom out your screen now click on BigQuery and authorize yourself make sure to select the student id and from here you have to click on public data sets now click on your project id and for data set name you have to just copy the the look underscore commerce so copy it carefully paste over here and just open it now for the table you have to select orders and just enter the orders click on add now wait for the data to load so now click on add to report and now when you hit check my progress to the score you will get the score without any issue now for task number two we have to open the looker for looker you have to open this open looker you can close the previous window we have not required it next step now for the email and password check the lab instruction for it so just paste the email and this lab you need to stay focused otherwise if you miss anything you won't get full score now click on login so now the first step is that we need to enable the development mode for modifying the files inside the looker so first of all wait for the looker to fully load so finally the looker is now ready now here we will enable the development mode so click on this toggle and wait for the page to load once the page to load itself as you can see the development mode is now enabled and you can see the on the nav bar it's showing you are in development mode now in the description box of this video i've shared one repo we'll be using that for the task so now click on equip labs e-commerce and here we have to create a view name user region and one more thing update the model so first of all click on these three dots and click on create view now i've shared this repo in the description box you have to just select the complete file first of all you need to rename it so for name check the task number two copy carefully make sure there is no any extra space or dot click on create now you have to just remove the entire contents of this file you can click on ctrl a and just remove so first of all copy this from the github repo and first remove this and just paste and click on save changes now we have to modify the training commerce model so for that go to models and click on this now first of all remove all these things copy it carefully and just paste it and click on save changes now validate lookml now click on commit changes and push 
now if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed like it and subscribe it now ignore the spelling mistakes now just deploy to production so for this part we'll get the score now you can open the looker in new tab so now when we hit check my progress for task number two you'll get the score without any issue and if you don't get score you need to wait for some time and still if you face issue like no score just repeat the step and watch the video again so now here for the task number three you need to pay attention for all the steps so here let's get started so now we have to open the looker in new tab so first of all if i'm going to open the looker right click over here and open new tab now from here click on explore now click on the events so you have to just click on the events if you are unable to find you can see on the top just below the e-commerce now here just type event type click on it and as you can see here so finally it has been added now you have to open user count region so just type count here and scroll down and select the user regions count just click on it as you can see user region count has been opened now here you have to add it to descending order so let me zoom in and see once you click on this arrow and it is now is sorted in descending order so now after that just update the row limit to three and from here just click on run now the visualization will be on bar so just click on bar icon so now here you have to copy the name and save the look so just copy the name carefully make sure there is no extra space and sort now just click on save to existing dashboard now enter the name here now for new dashboard copy the name here and just click on new dashboard type the name ok select it and just save to dashboard now when we hit check my progress you'll get the score without any issue finally if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe it and like the video for more such amazing videos so wait for some time so now let's hit check my progress again just refresh the browser and we got full score without any issue